to I'm here by myself because uh, time. Uh, my brother is at the hospital. I just asked him what's going on and he said no changes and uh, I think my mom's going to die. Uh, I don't want to like <laughs> do this waiting game where right? tomorrow, oh okay, they're going to take her off the machine and then maybe if her heart starts working again then they can fix that I think her heart is not going to I think her heart is like start working I think because if it were because if, if it was going to work it would have done so already and uh, like the doctors said um, you know uh, I don't know what they said, but, um, so, yes, uh, so I thought I'd just make a video about it, <coughs> um, it is really painful, I will say that, even though I don't sound like it right, <laughs> right now, but it's, uh, the only good thing I can say is at least she's in the hospital, she's like sedated and you know, like she's, I, I, I don't think she's suffering and um, like, you know, the, the best thing that can happen is uh, like, you know, like uh, she just passes away and doesn't know anything like doesn't know that what's going on, doesn't know like what we know, <laughs> what we know when we're like suffering here. I, I do. But she's in a hospital so she's she's like around a you know care team and so that's a, that's good you know and in a way I think like if my mom dies like it seems like but I don't know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not certain but it's like, um, you know, <laughs> I, I told my brother, like, we're in a prior text, this is a good death because it's like, um, you know, she got the heart attack and if she dies, like, soon, it's like, she's not going to spend years in suffering from the, you know, heart d disease or something and who knows what other ailments that can come and, you know, when she's getting older and and uh, you know, so I feel like I told him, like you know, this is a good debt. I think I think this is a good debt for. I mean, I mean it sounds very harsh saying it, but I think uh, you know. Um, you know, my mom was like kind of sad, and you know, I mean, <laughs> this is not an excuse. This doesn't mean it's okay that she she dies, but I'm like. I know, I always like, like she's, she just, uh, you know, she just sits there and she's just, you know, I don't know, stares into the, <laughs> that's not a, stares into the distance? No, that's not a good phrase. It's like, um, I, I, I observe her, like, just sitting in the backyard and just, you know, doesn't really, she doesn't do much. So most of the time she's listening to the YouTube, but when she's not really listening to the YouTube, it's like, you know, she doesn't too much and it's like I mean she does a lot of work around the house I mean that's the thing that I think I'm probably gonna notice is how much work she does around the house it's like to maintain the house and you know so um, I mean she got this heart attack because she went to the shopping center to buy stuff for us like she always does and uh, I don't know she was in the car and uh, I don't know I still don't know how that came about um, you know, this is a fun, this is the weirdest thing, it's like on Sunday morning, you know, around, uh, like, in the, the night, like, you know, like, Sunday morning, like, uh, early, early, early morning, like, I, I was, I didn't go to sleep, that, um, I was, I was up, 
and uh, I heard my brother say, yell out like you know yell out to my mom but he did it in his sleep so I was like oh, why is he yelling out her and, like he was calling her you know and uh, he did it in his sleep and 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 then in the morning we heard the news I mean he t he came into my room and said oh you know uh, she's not responding we didn't know what was wrong with it we just knew she was not responding and uh, she like she was on the phone and uh, and then you know yeah, my brother said get the ambulance and well I said could you call the ambulance so I gave him my phone and um, yeah I got the number and and I think my mom yelled out something to him over the phone when he was talking to her on the ambulance um, anyway on one day like they saw my mom and my I think my mom was uh, you know respond like talking to them or something like you know on Monday morning like they thought things were getting better but then so you know they they saw her at the hospital like I didn't see them but you know my brother sister probably well yeah <laughs> they saw the they, they saw her at the hospital so uh, but, you know but she was very tired but so you know she, she, so her heart was working there but what happened was that night she she had another heart attack and uh, the same like the artery got blocked and that's when the you know she went into this uh, um, Tuesday. That's when my brother said, "Oh no, she's her condition's worse." And then I'm, and that day, I'm like, "Okay, this is just." I thought, "Okay, this is." I think Wednesday or Tuesday. And I just sent a text to my brother saying, "You know, um, uh, I think she's gonna die." Uh, Well, let me read the text anyway. <laughs> I wrote a few things. I said, I think Amma is what I call her, gonna die. Going to die. I think her heart stopped working. This is so, so painful. At least she's not conscious. Does not seem to be suffering. The worst thing that can happen is to know you're going to die and having to face it. I like to think Amma is unconscious and I hope she dies peacefully. So that's what I said. Uh, <laughs> this is a text I sent him like uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Um, I don't think we should keep Amma alive if her heart cannot work. Let me tell you this. Letting Amma die here is a good death. It's a good death. I she would be dying in the hospital without much pain and suffering. There is no point trying to keep her alive just for our own sake. I know Amma doesn't want to die. I don't think anyone really does. But it is better if she dies in a place like this rather than live for a bit longer and be exposed to risk of suffering. And, uh, I don't think my brother liked that. <laughs> <laughs> like that text message because he, he said I came he came and said you know <laughs> he said what do you want us to go go and tell the doctors to like take her off the thing <laughs> he's saying like uh, he said like oh we have to wait for like what's going to happen and then the doctor will see them because they've got a whole care team trying to save a life uh, and so yesterday evening, when he, when he came back, and I sent him that message yesterday, when he came back, he was like, oh, you know, the, he sounded, he, he seemed like, oh, they, they could, do they, have, they were options. And so then I, I was resigned to, re resigned to the fact my mom would die. But then after I heard that, I was like, hmm, maybe she could still live. But then today it's like, uh, you know, this, this up and down cycle where, you, you, where you're like, Oh, she's going to, she, when you resign yourself to the fact that she's going to die. And then someone says, oh, well, she could, it's just a, it's, I don't want to go put myself through that torture. And this is why I'm telling my brother to, to sort of let her go or, you know, accept the fact that she's going to die. Because the more you put that away, the more torture you're going to feel. But if you sort of come to terms with it and then you, you know, you can deal with, um, I'm not sure you can deal with it, but at least you, you don't have to torture yourself that, uh, you, because the process from going from being hopeful to 
to you know to losing hope that is a very painful process and i don't want to have to continuously experience that again and again and again um see like like i said the only thing i hope is that she she dies in peace and uh that's the only thing i hope and you know like i said as long as she doesn't know what's going on you know that's a good thing for her right i mean it's difficult for us, me, you know, looking and uh, thinking about this, and because I'm, I'm imagining myself in her position, uh, looking back at this whole situation. But she, she doesn't. From her position, she, I don't know what she knows, and you know, I, it's like she's, you know, she has all this medication and. Like I said, the only thing I hope, like she just, you know, dies in peace. I hope she doesn't like suffer anymore. And I mean, you know, uh, it it looks like she, you know, um, this, this what's going to happen because the doctor said, you know, the like, the chances of survival like are not good. Like yesterday they did, not today, but yesterday, you know, when like um, was it yesterday morning? Or anyway, um, anyway. No, no, maybe, no, I don't know, somewhere recently anyway, so. Yeah, it looks weird. Uh, I don't know. So that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I'll just, I'll just sort of try and uh, deal with these. 